Hey guys, it's Jules from Crocoblog. Welcome to today's video. We are going to discuss Jet Elements download button. The download button widget allows your visitors to download files of any type. Let's customize the dynamic option of this widget with the help of Jet Engine plugin. We can apply two functions to the button, custom field and option. Let's start from the custom field. It allows you to pull the certain data from the desired post type. To make the button work, follow to dashboard, Jet Engine, click Post Types, click on the post type you want the button to be shown, add new meta field, type in the name of the label, choose media field type, update post type. Now let's adjust the post in this post type. You can see the list of the tours. Let's fill in the content to the meta field in each of them. Click the post. Choose media while we need to upload PDF file in this case. Upload the file. Click update to save the changes. Let's upload the PDF file for every post in this post type. Once you are done with the files uploading, let's add the button to the listing template. Click the needed one. Add it with Elementor. Find the download button widget, add it to the page, click dynamic to apply the dynamic feature. Find the dynamic button meta field name, and of course you can play with the style to make your button catchy. Here it is, we have the working button with the desired style in your listing grid. Now we are going to proceed to the awesome feature of the download button, the option settings. It allows you to pull any data from the different pages and sections of the website globally. It's easy to use, simple to customize, and it takes one minute to apply to your website. Here you need to start the customization also from the backend. Follow to dashboard, Jet Engine plugin, click Options Pages. Add new, new field, choose media, add page to save the changes. Proceed to this newly created menu on dashboard. Choose the file for your download button, save it. Let's proceed to the editing in Elementor. Drag the widget. Click Dynamic, then Option, choose your just created option, done. Here we go, now you can easily use these two functions for your download button. See ya, thanks for watching, I hope you guys love this video.